So I've had this smile on my face all fucking day because the Eagles moved up in the second round. Trade with the Indianapolis Colts and ended up getting the most freakish, big sized, big mammoth looking tight end. Dallas Goders. Wow. The Eagles have been looking at this guy for a while, <laughs> for since the offseason. And he piled up at least over 2,000 yards receiving in his college career. Great hands, great elusiveness. I, no, I didn't trip. I was just, you know. Great elusiveness. The guy caught it like crazy one hand catch in the end zone. This guy is everything and more. Really, I think this guy could be better than Trey Burton. This guy is just a, he is just a, he looks like a fucking science experiment, this guy. This guy is literally, I can't wait to see what this guy unleashes in this league. I really can't wait. I know we got Richard Rodgers. I know, you know, behind Zach Ertz. Now we got three tight ends. Now we're set at tight end position. And they compared him. On the draft, I watched it. They compared him to Zach Ertz. Great route running, great hands. But the only difference between Goat Earth and Zach Ertz is that Goat Earth has longer arms, bigger hands, bigger body, just big in every fucking way possible. Height, everything. 230 pounds, 204. I think it was like 238. I forgot what he was. Two, I think it was 230, something like that. Between 230 to 240. This guy's a freak of fucking nature. Like, and the, and the best part about it, the best part about it is we, we jumped in front of Dallas. And you know what happened today, of all fucking days? So, a few months ago, probably earlier, I don't remember, but Hannah, the fucking tight end from the Cowboys, ended up fucking retiring. Then all of a sudden, yesterday I read a fucking thing saying, hey, Jason Winton might be fucking retiring. Guess what? Today he fucking retired, and guess what? As you could tell by looking at David Akers trolling the fucking Cowboys, which they fucking deserve from the fucking bullshit Drew Pearson shit that came last year. Now... Now, we troll their fucking asses in their home fucking draft. And now, Dallas, we just stole Dallas Goder. Dallas, oh, it makes it, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. And if this guy becomes something fantastically fucking great, wow. Jumped right in front of Dallas to get this fucking guy. And I know Dallas was going to pick this fucking dude. And just the reaction to, to the Eagles picking him. They were like, oh, oh, they're looking back and forth at each other. I mean, they were just like, oh, my fucking God. These pieces of fucking shit assholes. <laughs> and we took it and we stole it right from under them. I am going to do a draft analysis reaction to some of his highlights. Go through some of his stuff that's crazy good. But, oh, God, dude, this guy. I'm so excited. And he's a great blocking tight end. On top of everything else. Great blocking tight end. I didn't, you know, and you know what? This puts everything to, this puts everything to rest. This is one of many moves that the Eagles will do. Keep that second round pick for next year. Keep all these picks. Because next year, you're setting up for the future. You're setting up. We're already setting up now. But we're going to set up even more next year. I can't wait to see what this team does in the future. I can't wait. Dallas Goderth is, is a Philadelphia Eagle. Freak of nature. Freaky hands. Freak loose. Monster going to be on that field. It's weird because he reminds me of like a Travis Kelsey, but like a like a Jason Witten in his, like in his prime, in his early fucking career. It's a weird thing. It's fucking weird. But this is why Dallas wanted to go after him. And they couldn't get him. <laughs> they couldn't fucking touch him. And we got in front and stole him. Last year we got in front of them and stole Pumphrey. <clears throat> now we jump in front of him. Get the tight end that we need. I knew that we had to sign a fucking veteran. Richard Rodgers ain't the best blocking tight end. It's going to be nice to see what this competition. Because honestly, even with Richard Rodgers there as well. 
you know, we know Doug Pearson uses his strengths of this offense with these two tight end spots. These two tight ends. It's going to make a huge difference. So, you have a big bodied. Richard Rodgers ain't that fast. He's a, you know, he's got some, he's got a little bit of moves to him. But this guy is younger, of course. Godard's, Dallas Godard's going to. This guy's going to unleash, unleash something this year. And I really can't wait to see him on the field. I can't wait to see him in preseason. I can't wait to fucking see him in general. I'm excited. So, I hope you guys are happy because I was I was relieved. I couldn't. I was like, we're probably just going to pick up some no-name. You know, a guy that the Eagles never really talked about. I thought maybe they were going to pick something up that they really never talked about. But they found their guy. And I was right. They moved up at the right time. A few spots. Got in front of Dallas and picked up this big freakish fucking freak of nature tight end. <laughs> I I can't wait. I really can't wait. This is gonna this is this completes it. You know, I mean losing Trey Burton was huge, but you know, to pay Trey Burton, you know, I know we all want him back, but man, the Eagles went out and you know, we were all on the guys train. You know, I was on the safety train, the guys train, the you know, let's go get someone, you know, and, and replace, but you know, we didn't get a safety, but who knows what happens later on. But next year could be that year for that safety spot. But holy shit, dude, we, we just, we drafted a really fucking good player. This guy, he's not your average tight end. He's not just running a route, catching the ball. This guy's doing everything and anything fucking possible to get yards. He's tricked, he's faked linebackers out. He's made people break their fucking ankles. He's done so much shit in his course of his college career. I forgot how many yards. It was like 23, 2400 yards, whatever the hell it was, receiving. But the attributes are unlimited with him. And you can only be happy. So, I can't wait to do a review on this guy because I'm excited to do a review. I'm, I'm excited to watch more. Watch all his targets. Watch everything. So, I'm excited. So, let me know. What do you think about Dallas Goder coming to the Philadelphia Eagles game? Drafted by the fucking Super Bowl champs, Philadelphia Eagles. Let me know in the comments section below, Shake Squad. If you're new, welcome to the channel. And that's all I got to say. So, Shake Squad up. Fly goes fly. Peace.